I don't know a lot of things. There are plenty of things in this vast universe that I have little to no knowledge of, and that's okay. But what I am sure of is that you cannot 100% put yourself and your energy, and I'm not just talking physical energy, although that will play a part later, but you cannot 100% put yourself and your pure soulful intent behind something and not have that something come to fruition. At least, at the very least, an opportunity for that something is going to present itself. Now, having said that, yesterday I had a very challenging day. It actually challenged my faith. I was to the core, vulnerable, and what I thought before I fell asleep was really, what is God? Who is God? Where is God? Is God up there? Is God in me? Am I God? I mean, I was stripped of all religious protocol, and honestly, it was a WTF moment, okay? Now, when I woke up this morning, you know, I was still thinking along those lines, and I said, well, Kia, I don't believe that there is no God, so maybe my perception of what God is, who God is, where God is, and how God operates is just a little skewered. Now, that that's all I'm going to say about that, you can chew on that, spit out and or swallow what you will. But I will say going forward, you have to know that that entity, that energy, whatever you want to call it, at the very least has a place within you. You cannot, in my experience, focus all of your attention outside of yourself and expect a favorable return. You cannot 100% look outside of yourself and expect everything to happen to your self-tailored wants, your wholehearted desire. I can't put all my energy into just praying, just hoping, just wishing toward external factors. Just the obvious fact that I'm sitting here today talking to you proves I say proves that there is a spark of God in me enabling my limbs, right? There is at least a spark of divine energy within me that's keeping me alive and is enabling me to talk to you today. So what I did learn and what I do know just from overnight, because sometimes we all know sometimes that that's all it takes. You can have a change of perception and in a split moment just one instant in your life can drastically change how you view things but I learned to see things a little differently now I can't say that going forward I'm not going to have a relapse and return to old ways of thinking and looking outside of myself for my heart's desires but every day I will work to include my own personal intent um, in addition to whatever my other spiritual practice may be. I'm going to go within me and pull out what I was given on the inside to make my dreams work. To make my dreams come to fruition. Um, I'm just not going to leave my fate to the ethers or just leave my life to fate. I'm going to hold the intent for my own personal outcome. Um, I want to say that's all I have to talk about today, but... I mentioned being vulnerable, and that's a place I rarely allow myself to be, but I learned, I guess I realized this morning that it's a good place because it allows you to be open to a message or to be open to guidance that you might not normally be receptive to. And that's when you get your answers. That's how you get your answers. So I guess if the happy ham would be a pig today, the pig would be powerful inner God. I don't have to look outside of myself to affect me. So that my PIG today is my powerful inner God. And oh, also, those desires that you're having that uh, you're wishing for and hoping for or praying to come to fruition, 
I believe those desires and those wants, some of them, those strong ones, can indeed be sent from the divine. Have you ever felt yourself saying, I'm going to try this, I'm going to do this, and it's something that you never even thought about thinking about trying or doing before? Maybe that's the divine saying, there's something better. Let's try this new path. So don't ignore those promptings. And I guess that's it. So the only other thing I have to say is embrace your inner oink, which is our oneness, our intelligence that we have innately from the divine. Don't forget to nourish yourself and others. And don't forget to be kind to one another. So again, I'm the happy ham, reminding you all to be happy. And I love you. Thanks for listening. Bye. Oh, I'm back. I'm going to try to edit this. I haven't done that yet, but I guess it's about time I learned. So I also wanted to remind you, if you have any comments, concerns, if you want to, you can leave it below. You can leave it below. Now, I'm not sure if my comment section is activated. If it's not, somebody email me or call me. Kia, your comment section is not activated. If you want to say, Kia, I agree with you with what you said. Kia, you suck. Whatever. We all love each other. So um, do that. All right. Thanks again. Love you. Bye.